All right, flat plane fool here with another morning commute. Uh, today we're going to talk about the electric truck trend that I think is going to be a big deal here in the near future. Uh, Ford has already released uh, some teasers of their electric F-150 pulling a train, which I think is a really good analogy, right? Because trains are diesel electric for the most part. It's all the work that you see being done is actually done by an electric motor. The only thing the diesel does is, is provide power for the electric motors. And I think that's a good way to do it, to be honest with you. Um, I think a straight electric drivetrain will be awesome in a truck as far as towing stuff and going short distances. And I think for the longer range people, I think a basically a diesel electric like a train would be the best idea. Keep the, the or just a gas electric, but keep the um, internal combustion engine completely separated from the electric drivetrain in my opinion. because. That way you don't have to have a transmission. And if you do have a transmission, it'll be like a high and a low. So it'll be really easy to make it very strong. So only like a two-speed kind of setup. So that, that I think is gonna be the ideal way to do this. Because if you tow to anything, you'll find out or you know already that the two things that you have an issue with are your engine will start to overheat going up hills and your transmission will start to have issues because you'll start burning out the clutches and things like that between the the, um, the gears and the, well, any clutches. Uh, so if you just get rid of the transmission or make it so it's a simple high, low range kind of setup so you can have all the torque when you need it and uh, most of the torque when you don't, I think it'll be the, the best way to go about it. So that being said, um, currently Ford's on this thing where they tease a car for two years before they release it. So as much as I think the F-150 probably might be or should be the next electric vehicle released, uh, who knows? Tesla teased one two years ago already and they still haven't brought it to market, mostly because that thing didn't look like it could pass any sort of crash regulation or anything like that for a half-ton truck at least. So it'll be interesting to see how everything comes out. Um, I'd like to see an electric truck on the market in the near future. Got to be very careful who releases it. Uh, basically, there are some people that still drive a truck to hear the V8 noise. <laughs> Perfect timing, right? Um, <laughs> I, I can completely understand driving a vehicle just because of the sound that it makes. So I sympathize there, but uh, I think you're going to see a lot more of, say, the EcoBoost crowd shift over to electric vehicles than you are the um, LS or Coyote crowd shifting over to electric vehicles. So, kind of an interesting market. I think um, the a straight electric truck will be good for somebody that has like a landscaping business and doesn't necessarily go that many miles in a day, but does tow a trailer. Uh, I think the tow ratings on these electric trucks are going to be amazing, mostly because the frames are going to have to be one ton trucks just to get a half ton bed capacity because of the battery weight. So uh, I think you're going to see these trucks that are half ton trucks, I'm putting air quotes around that, that have closer to a one ton towing capacity because of the torque of the electric motors, because of the braking assist of the electric motors, and because of how strong the frame is going to have to be to hold the few hundred pounds worth of batteries and still have some sort of bed payload available. So I think the towing on these things are where they're really going to shine. So I think if you can make your daily uh, loop of lawn mowing or whatever it is that you do, either towing heavy weight or moving heavy weight with the electric range that these trucks will have, then I think that's gonna be the ideal market. Now, I do think they should, as I mentioned earlier, have some sort of internal combustion engine supported hybrid. Um, and if I were them, I would keep that drivetrain separated just, just so you don't have to have that intermix between the gas engine and the electric motors and the transmission that's going to have to be there and all those kind of uh, coupling and torque multiplication and supplementing and all those algorithms you won't have to worry about. You just have either uh, one big electric motor or 
two electric motors, one for the front and one for the rear, or four electric motors, one at each wheel, um, and as minimal drivetrain as possible, just, just to try to keep the wear down on that for towing instances. So, uh, that's kind of where I'm at with this thing, and I'm kind of excited to see where it ends up, because for those of you who do commute in a truck, whether it's because you need to throw stuff in the back regularly, or it's just because you like sitting in a taller vehicle and need your truck once a year, and only have, you know, either space or finances for two vehicles, I think the electric truck is going to be a hit whenever it gets released. So, I think that is going to be the next trend of electric vehicles, um, and I'm excited to see it, honestly. And to be honest with you, I may be one of the people that pick up an electric truck. Uh, I do need a, a better truck. I do need something for commuting. And I would like to be able to charge. Um, I, I can use public charging. And in, in Raleigh, there's still free public charging in enough places where I could essentially not pay for gas if it's an electric vehicle. So having an electric truck would be a huge benefit. Anyway, uh, that's what we got. I hope you guys have a good day, and I will talk to you later. Bye.